Welcome to the weekend adventure. This weekend we're at Falcon Trails Resort in Falcon Lake, Manitoba. It's a beautiful day out. There's a lot of really exciting things going on in Falcon Lake. We have a couple of really great guides who are ready to show us around and we're really excited about this. It's a jam-packed day. They have a ton of activities to so show us and uh, this place has a lot to offer so we're going to check it out. The Weekend Adventurer Canada is brought to you by the Kenora Hospitality Alliance. Hey guys, hey. I'm Wendy. I'm Emily. Hi. Keely. Hey, I'm nice August. To meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice, to meet, nice you to meet you guys. Yeah. So, you guys, tell us a little bit about Falcon Trails Resort and what we're going to do today. Yeah, uh, Falcon Trails is a, our family run resort here on Falcon Lake in the White Shell Provincial Park of Manitoba. And uh, me and my sister Kaylee and our younger sister Brooke and our partners all run the resort together. Our mom and dad own it. And uh, yeah, it's a, it's a great family run resort. We've got all sorts of things going, cabin rentals. We've got a ski hill here. We've got pretty much anything you can think of to do. And there's the lots that we're gonna do today. Yeah, we're gonna start off with some fishing by a local tour guide and uh, move on to some biathlon and some music and hiking and biking. We're gonna do a lot today. Sounds awesome, we're yeah. really excited. Yeah, Good. so are we. Awesome, <laughs> right on. So what's first? Well, let's head over to the boat dock. Perfect. Hi, Ian. He's our Hi, local fisherman. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. And uh, yeah, he's going to take us out on the water. What are we hoping to catch today? Yeah, today we're going to be jig fishing for walleye on Falcon Lake. Falcon Lake is an excellent trophy walleye fishery, uh, as well as northern pike, smallmouth bass, uh, whitefish, etc. But today we're going to focus on walleye and uh, hopefully we can catch them. Today we are jig fishing and uh, this is our basic setup. We got a jig and a minnow. I use uh, eight pound fluorocarbon line. So we are in about 25 feet of water right now. The sun is fairly high and uh, you know, while I have sensitive eyes, so we're gonna try and catch them fairly deep. And uh, so who wants a rod? Let's uh, sure. get it down to the bottom here. Okay, so I think I have a nibble here. Okay, well, give it a good hook set. There you go. Oh, oh yeah. nice. All right. Nice. First fish of the day. Oh, that's a nice wallet. Right on, look at that. Right on, good one. <laughs> Always exciting catching a fish. That's a nice walleye. Thanks. Good job. Not too shabby. No kidding. <laughs> We've only been out for you know a little little bit of time and ten fish minutes. Are, fish are biting good. Ian, our guide, yeah. extraordinaire. Is it a master angler? Uh, it's not a master angler, oh. but it's a beauty walleye. <laughs> um, this will be in the slot limit for Falcon Lake. This is probably about 20 inches. So uh, nice. let's make sure we get them back safe and sound. So how long have you been a guide on Falcon Lake? Uh, let, I guess I grew up on Falcon Lake. Um, lived here my whole life, been fishing Falcon Lake since before I can remember. Um, I started Shield Outfitters with a partner about eight years ago and uh, we guide not only on Falcon but on many lakes in the White Shell and, and Lake of the Woods. So I just got hooked up on a walleye. It feels like a really nice one. Whoa. Kind of excited about that. Oh, is it ever nice? Whoa. It's a monster. What? Nice fish. Look at that. Sweet. Now, they look, their coloring is a little different from other lakes. Um, yeah. They're kind of, they look like Lake of the Woods walleye. Yeah, they're not, li they're not like a... They're not the big emerald greenbacks. They're not like the Lake greenbacks Winnipeg. like you get in Lake Winnipeg or yeah. the Winnipeg River. We do have nice colored golden dark walleye. So, uh, 
This is a nice one. You How much do you it? think that weighs? Uh, this is probably about a four or five pounder. Wow. And uh, he looks about 25 inches to me. Yeah. Uh, picture with him. It's pretty. There you go. Nice. Nice walleye. Oh, add a girl. Another fish on. Jeez. This is some seriously fast action for having been out for not very long at all. Wow. All right, there's another typical Falcon Lake walleye. That's a 19 inch walleye, and he's going back again. Okay. So that's going to wrap up our fishing portion of our trip today at Falcon Trails Resort. Uh, Ian, our guide from shieldoutfitters.com, put us, uh, hooked us up with three really nice walleye in an incredibly short amount of time. So Falcon Lake is obviously a, a wonderful fishery for all different types of species, but walleye obviously is what we caught today, which was great. Yeah. Was and awesome. what are we doing next? We're going to go meet uh, a local Olympian, actually, and try our hand at uh, biathlon, which is really exciting. That's really exciting. We're really super pumped up. That's about right. That. It's going to be awesome. This is our local biathlon range. This is our local Olympian, Megan Emery. Hi, Megan. Hey. Nice to meet you. Hi. Super good to meet you. Hi, nice to We're meet you We're pretty guys. excited about being here and about meeting you. Well, awesome. Yeah, I'm great. I'm really stoked to be shooting some targets. Can you tell us exactly what biath biathlon is? Sure. What you do is you come into this range on skis okay. after skiing about two kilometers. You lay down, shoot five targets, and each one is about the size of a toonie. Okay. And then you go off and ski that same loop, come in and shoot standing this time. Um, the target then is about the size of a grapefruit. And if you have any misses along the way, you have to just ski an extra 150 meter pedal. Oh my oh, God. Wow. <laughs> uh, and then you ski one more lap to finish. Wow, and so this, it way. sounds really competitive. It is. That's oh, yes. amazing. And what do you have us doing today? What are we gonna do? We're going to practice shooting first. You guys can just get a feel for it. Mm -hmm. uh, hone your skills. Okay. And then we're gonna do a little head to head competition. All right. I'm assuming we're not gonna ski. So what are we doing instead we're of skiing? We're just gonna run instead gonna and do running. a little bit of skiing. Okay, perfect. Awesome. Well, we're super excited. We're excited to be here. You're a two-time Olympian. You were in Vancouver and Sochi. Yeah. And uh, it's just a real honor to be here. And we're actually really excited to do some uh, skiing and uh, shooting. <laughs> Great. This is where your cheek is going to go, and you're going to look through here. It. <laughs> nice. Great job. No, five out of five. Awesome. <laughs> First time uh, shooting, perfect score. <laughs> if I go five for five, what do I get? Um. Oh, oh, got cocky. <laughs> okay, you're gonna start over at these flags at the start line. Okay. You're going to run, run down to the end of the range. Yeah. Around the flags. Mm -hmm. You're gonna come over here and do five ski bounds right. per side. So maybe let's try that right now. Okay. To each other. You're just across. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and you can move your hands up as if you're pulling as well. And in. A, when you're racing, it'll be as fast as possible. Okay. So five per side, and then run around uh, this rifle rack, yeah. and come in to your lane and shoot. Okay. So August, you're lane 14. Yeah. And uh, Wendy, you're on fifth, lane 15. Okay. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> and they're off. Shot. Oh, 
can see the finish. You can catch up. Podium. Yeah. Ready <laughs> <There> to <you> go. <laughs> He's going. Nice. Hey everyone, welcome back. We just finished our biathlon experience with uh, Megan, which was super fun, and we worked up an appetite. And we're here now with Scott and Lyle, who have actually opened a restaurant for the summer in the Falcon Trails Resort Ski Hill. And they're gonna tell us a little bit about it and kind of the basic philosophy behind it that makes it really, really a great place to come get some food. Yeah, so we were sort of bumming around the summer and looking for something exciting to do. Lyle's a chef and has a background in that field and we spent time on a lake growing up and really wanted to kind of give this community some, some healthy food. And with Megan and her background and, and in sport and looking for always healthy options and something uh, that this town didn't have, we thought that was a nice niche for us and, and we could carve in something with some experience where you can come on your boat and hang out and play some yard games and uh, at the same time get a great meal and, and hang out around the fireplace if it's, if it's raining. And maybe hang out with an Olympian. Hopefully hang out with an Olympian. <laughs> We've got her working hard. It's uh, very much her menu. She's had her, her fingerprints all over the, uh, the design of it and I think that she'll be around and, and chefing her way through the summer and, <laughs> and uh, yeah hopefully making really tasty dishes for us. So it sounds like we're in for a real treat. Can you give us an example of uh, some of the dishes we're gonna see inside? Yeah for sure a lot of the the sort of background of this place will be wood-fired pizzas which is something that Lyle can speak to. I think he's had a lot of experience with, uh, yeah. with that design. Been lucky to work in a few high-end Italian restaurants so we're bringing that sort of background to the uh, to the menu. That's awesome. So really simple wood-fired ovens with a sourdough starter so something different but at the same time familiar enough so that sounds great yeah. really looking forward to it so you guys are going to be open for the months of july and august for sure and you're yeah. here at like we said at the ski resort at falcon trails resort uh so if you're in the area any cat cottagers it, like they said it's accessible by lake you can drive right down and we're excited we're going to go get some good healthy food after having some good exercise <laughs> and we get to sit down with these guys and have a great meal have 10 beautiful cabins and they're all located on Falcon Lake. Okay. Uh, this one we're at right now is is called Arboreal Lodge and it's much bigger than the rest of them. It's a kind of a special cabin. People use it for larger groups or big families and they'll come here. Uh, and then we have nine smaller cabins that are right on the lake. They all each have either their own private dock or beach and as well as their own private hot tub in a screened in porch. So That's amazing. And they're all year round cabins. We book them summer, spring, fall and winter. So you also have some other cabins that are a little bit more rustic. Why don't you tell us about those? Yeah, they are very unique cabins. They live um, kind of two kilometers south of here of Falcon on a beautiful lake called High Lake. Uh, and these four cabins, which we have soon to be five, we're in the process of building one right now, are the only cabins on the lake, which is a totally unique experience, right? Um, the other really interesting thing about them is that they're off the grid, so they're solar powered, they have composting toilets, and they're all wood-fired heat. Um, so people will go out there for, you know, total remoteness. To get away from everything. To get away, you know, it is silent out there. That's so great. You guys wanna go check it out? Let's yeah, go. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. We'll go check it out. So we're here on one of the hiking trails at Falca Trails Resort. There's over 20 kilometers of trails for either mountain biking or hiking. That's right, and you know what? They're beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. Uh, you have a good view of the lake. Um, well-groomed well, trails. That's right. Uh, lots of, you know, scenery. It's really 
quite nice. So it's a beautiful day for us to be out walking these trails and a great opportunity to see more of the area. High Lake at a brand new build. I'm here with Ben and Brooke and they're the ones, uh, they're the masterminds here behind this one and they're going to tell us a little bit about this cabin. Uh, well it's a timber frame cabin. Uh, the uh, construction is double stud or the envelope I should say is double stud wall and that's infilled with a, a blow-in cellulose product. It's a recycled a recycled product to sort of keep in. Basically the, newspaper. Okay. Yeah exactly newspaper and a bit of glue and a fire proof material uh, just to keep it you know something about the cabin it should be eco <laughs> right and so you guys really focus on eco-friendly um, tell us a little bit about that uh, well we have uh, there'll be a composting toilet in here we have solar panels over there uh, and we actually uh, for this cabin this is the fifth cabin uh, here at the lake and we have that uh, the solar power set up for the construction now so we don't have to be running the generator oh, all the okay. time for our construction tools mm -hmm. You're watching Northwestern Ontario's favorite TV station, CJBN. We are Sunset Country. So we're here with Emily, and, and music has always been a really integral part of her family and a part of Falcon Trails Resort. So tell us a little bit about that. And you have live music, we understand, at the resort. Yeah, uh, yeah, music's a huge part of the Falcon Trails, Falcon Ridge story. Um, we're really lucky to have be right in the middle of this huge community of music out here, and uh, we do what we can to to involve it in, in what happens at Falcon, Falcon Trails. We have, yeah, as you said, in the winter every Sunday we have a Sunday afternoon concert series so people can come out and ski and cross country ski and eat food but there's also live music happening in the chalet so I think that's something that really sets us apart and, um, and we have concerts throughout the summer as well and beyond just providing live music a lot of our staff here are actually musicians so nice. um, like Red Moon Road for instance they've all done their work here. We had Sheena at the front desk and Daniel was the hot tub guy and Daniel <laughs> Cage doing double uh, duty. Yeah, <laughs> building and stuff. So it's, we actually at the ski hill, it, it, we employ probably like 70% musicians there. So okay. it's, it's really a big part of, yeah, what we do here at Falcon Trails. I guess musicians are the only ones desperate looking for, <laughs> for <laughs> work at a ski hill. <laughs> I don't know, yeah, I'm seasonal enjoyable. work, so yeah, <laughs> Great. We're, we're really lucky to have so much live music and have it a part of our whole story. Here. Yeah. Today has been an incredible day. You've kept us super busy with yeah. a whole bunch of really exciting activities. Right. This is the perfect way to end such a great day. Mm -hmm. We have Red Moon Road. Yeah. And the, the Clay Tones. Yeah. And they're going to do a couple songs for us, so we're excited to finally just relax Absolutely. for the rest of the day, and mm -hmm. this is the best way to end our day. Yeah. So. Falcon Trails Resort, a yeah. huge thanks to the Christie family. Yeah, thank you. You yeah, guys so have been much. wonderful, and let's yeah, thank let's you guys for band. coming out. Yeah, <laughs> anytime. Let's hear some music. One, two, one.